So I'm apologizing now, you're probably gonna hear my air conditioning, my fridge, everything that's going on. But hopefully if you saw, I just posted a video where I am wearing um, just a small selection of the snag tights that I recently purchased. Um, I wanted to go ahead and just kind of do a quick little video of how to style them with your vintage wear. I know um, history bounding is a huge thing that is uh, super popular this year, but also I think um, just judging by all of the Facebook groups I'm a part of, vintage fashion wear is becoming such a big and mainstream thing again. I think uh, it's especially really fun to go ahead and get to still express ourselves while we're still locked inside or while we're trying to make the best of whatever situation we're in. And I wanted to go ahead and try to style the snag tights that I bought in a way that would be vintage fun or vintage fun inspired. Um, some of them definitely were reproductions. Um, the others were genuine vintage. So that was just a lot of fun to do. Getting straight to the review side of this, uh, I really enjoy these tights. I will probably be buying more colors if they come out with any more, um, especially if they come out with any, I think oranges, maybe more earth tones, things that I could wear with any outfit, especially at work during the winter would be great. Um, I would definitely be buying these again. Um, if you saw, I did a whole photo shoot. It was a lot of fun. And I really put those tights through the ringer. Like, I just want y'all to know. <laughs> it was a lot of fun to do, but I really, I, I mean, I was throwing these things around. Um, I was really trying to do this quickly so I didn't lose any daylight. So I was jumping into them, wriggling around, just fully jumping into them, kind of just tossing one off and then putting on the other one, literally jumping into them. And I really got in there. The day before I told myself, okay, you need to trim your toenails just in case. Um, this was kind of the first time I'd seen the tights up close and personal. And so I just kept telling myself, you need to trim your toenails just in case they're very thin. I don't know if this has happened to anyone else. I got, I got prickly toenails and they like to poke holes in all of my hosiery, no matter what I do. And so I was like, trim your toenails, trim your toenails. Girl, trim your toenails. And what did I not do? I didn't trim my toenails. So <laughs> it got to the photo shoot day and I, it's just me by the way, it wasn't like an actual day, but I really wanted to get this done because I had other stuff I wanted to film as well. Um, and so uh, I hadn't trimmed my toenails, but I was jumping into this hosiery. I was doing it, okay, and nothing. They didn't snag, there was no popping. I didn't tear through any of them. They are perfectly fine and perfectly flexible. The size I got was the size D, and that was the perfect size for my weight and height because, uh, let's be honest, some of the others that are in more mainstream stores, they tell you the weight and sometimes the height, and you get it, and who was this supposed to be for? Like, really, who was this supposed to be for? Because it's not for me. <laughs> And so uh, I was really worried about that. I was worried that they would not actually be the size I needed them to be. So the size I got was the size known as D. And they fit wonderfully. If you can see here, they are so stretchy. They're not even like tights. I would say these are almost legging material. Like it's just really thin legging material, but they are so, they've got that little stitching right there. I mean, they're just really beautifully stretchy. And I noticed that they were not super see-through. Now that isn't to say I would wear these as leggings. I definitely would not um, because they are still very visible. Um, once you start getting up top, um, hopefully I did not flash you in the video when I wore this one 60s inspired outfit, but they are a little see-through once you start getting up to a little more to the crotch area. 
So I personally wouldn't wear these as leggings, but if you've got something going on that you're able to do that, you definitely could. But these are so wonderful and I got as many colors that I thought would be fun to have and colors that I kind of wear every day in general and colors that are a little out of my uh, comfort zone as well. But that was pretty much what I did. I wanted these to not only wear with my everyday wear, but I wanted them to be able to be compatible with my vintage wear, as well as with my history bounding wear. I do have a bit of 18th century clothing that I like to wear, medieval as well, um, all kinds of different time periods, and I wanted some that would be aesthetically pleasing, so that video will also be coming to y'all soon. Maybe I shouldn't say soon. I've got a bad track record with um, posting. Um, it's mostly because I don't think anyone's watching. Uh, so <laughs> I got some colors that were a little out of my comfort zone and then I got a pair as well that were just your typical black because I love the way these look. They are those cute shears that you see. I, I can't explain it very well. But these are the colors. The colors I got specifically were sheer licorice, raspberry pie, hit the bottle, beach bum, mustard, and then I also wanted to try their chub rub, uh, their famous chub rub tights, and I haven't opened that yet. So they come in this super cute packaging, mine are all rinky dink, but they come in this really cute paper packaging that is gonna be awesome because I'm probably gonna reuse this paper. I know that sounds kinda kind of cheap, but I love that they're using paper, something that is gonna be easier than plastic and something a little more friendly than plastic. And so they wrote, they arrived like this. I've got a lot of harsh light, sorry about that. And these are the chub rubs, and I'm so excited. They ran out of the color that I wanted, so I figured I would do something a little on the wild side. And so far it's super stretchy, and I can tell it's got some extra grip here on the legs. And so that's gonna be a lot of fun. I really wanted this because I wear a lot of skirts. Um, I really do. And what I do anyway is, if I have a pair of hose that just do not fit me, I usually cut off the legs. I keep the legs as um, kind of knee highs, usually thigh highs, because those are cute. But um, usually knee highs is what I do with um, bad pairs of stockings. And then I keep the crotch part for underskirts. Um, usually, unfortunately, they're very see-through, and so having these, it's gonna be a lot easier, and I can tell that they're breathable. Um, oh, I can tell that they're already cooler and breathable, and I live in Texas. I would like to avoid any issues. And so these seem perfect. Um, I will try to try these on and maybe post on my Instagram how I feel about them because I haven't tried them yet. Um, but that's the packaging and how they arrived. They arrived pretty quickly as well too. I was worried because my package was coming from Germany. Um, it really took maybe just a little over a week for them to arrive, which to me is perfect. I, I know it's been crazy. It's been absolute chaos. So that was great. And these are just so much fun. All the colors, look how stretchy this is. Like, this is nuts. This is, I look crazy. This is nuts. Um, like I said, I was throwing these on. Nothing happened to the feet. I had no snapping, no snagging. They were quick to get in and out of, which was perfect. And like I said, they weren't very see-through, which I love. And most importantly, I was able to avoid the Ono oh crotch. I don't know if anyone's ever had this happen. Maybe so, it's maybe not that typical. But those more mainstream um, hose slash stocking brands um, that you find in like Target or Walmart or places like that, that you try on, um, or you take a look at them in the store and you're like, okay, this says it's for my weight, says it's for my height, let's take it home. And then you get home and you try it on. Me, usually trying them on last minute, the day of that I have an event or something that I need to go to, what usually ends up happening is I put them on, they're too tight, they're clearly too tight, I'm just gonna risk getting a hole or a snag or what have you, and I go. And the moment I get there, 
I'm uncomfortable because now I'm walking stiffly and I feel like everyone can tell. I'm walking stiffly, just trying not to have a tear, not to have any issues, and God forbid something drops on the floor or I gotta sit low, sit super low, because then what happens is you sometimes get the oh no crotch. And what I mean by that is I drop my phone on the floor and I need to squat and suddenly I hear a Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. The biggest snag, the biggest hole. Or worse, sometimes you just hear like the crotch stretch and you're like, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You might as well take them off at that point. You might you might as well take them off. So I really was worried about the oh no crotch with these. I got no oh no crotch. I got no oh no crotch because they actually fit and because they actually are going by your weight and your height, which was wonderful. <laughs> so wonderful. Um, like I said, the colors are really great and the quality I love. These are so thick. They're gonna come in so handy during the fall and during the winter. I am hoping to do a video in my 18th century wear where I will be wearing these. I know they're not period accurate, of course, because back then you would have been wearing clock stockings, um, which would have been the short stockings that you held up with lace. But I really want to have something kind of aesthetically pleasing for my tastes would be fantastic. So I will be doing a couple more videos um, with these tights, featuring these tights. So I'm hoping to come at y'all with some more. Long story short, um, I would buy these again, absolutely. The colors are so much fun. I don't know if I showed all of them. I got the shears, got this gorgeous raspberry pie. Look at that, like I'm excited for that visually because I think that's gonna really be really cute for my 18th century wear, kind of give me a harlot's the TV show vibe. I've got a green, this is gonna be so gorgeous in the fall. And then I've got a turquoise. I'm not sure if I showed that at all. Just a lot of fun colors. Um, I will be buying more. I want to try their fishnets as well. And that's it. I would buy them again. I would recommend them, especially for those of us who are not considered in the range of small to medium. <laughs> because even their mediums are wrong and even their larges are often wrong. So this is really great to have. Um, and yeah, I would recommend these. I think they're really nice. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. I just really wanted to get, a, get my hands on these tights. And so I'm really glad to have a couple of pairs as well as the chub rubs. Super excited for those. Um, more will be coming at you. Um, I hope you enjoyed the review. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you haven't seen my vintage try video go ahead and take a look i was a damn mess i was a fool <laughs> i'm just dancing away but hopefully it's fun and hopefully it gives you ideas for when you want to step out in your vintage wear and add a little extra pizzazz or extra little fun if you like to show your ankles like a harlot i don't know <laughs> But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a comment. Have you found any other tight brands that are also really good or any other just kind of body positive brands, kind of body friendly brands? Um, I know that luckily things like that are becoming more mainstream, but I really wanna find the ones that have more ones that are independent and maybe just now starting out. I would love to see how they're looking or even ones that are more mainstream that I just haven't quite heard of yet. That would be fantastic. Let me know below. Any ones that are friendly for anyone who is large and up especially. Um, I am a medium to large slash large to extra large. I know that's crazy, but those of us who are in, in the US, we completely understand. <laughs> No sizes are the same no matter what we do. I really love these and I would love to find more websites that will have things that I can wear and my friends can wear and that would be wonderful. But once again, this is the quaint life of Eugene. I'm Eugene.
and uh, have a good one. <laughs>